Hello everyone. In this particular video, we will be learning about something called Intermediate Value Theorem. And as a corollary of it, there is a theorem called Bolzano's Theorem. These are very useful tools from calculus and we will learn them in the context of a particular problem from ISI entrance. It's a very beautiful application. I'll first explain what the problem is. So an equation is given to us. It's given as third root of x plus square root of x is equal to 1. Third root of x plus square root of x is equal to 1. And our job is to show that there is at least one real solution. So there is at least a real number x, there is at least one real number x which satisfies this equation. In fact, we want more. We want to show there is at least one positive real number x that is a solution. So how do we go about it? Well, in a previous video and also in our ISI and CMI entrance programs, we talk about something called auxiliary functions or aux functions. We have used it numerous times. We will use that here as well. So the idea is really simple. You convert an equation to a function. So convert an equation to a function and analyze it analyze it using calculus. So we will do just the same here. We will create a function f of x which is third root of x plus square root of x minus 1. We want to show that this function has a solution, a positive real zero. So there is a positive number, let's say a, such that f of a is zero. This is our goal. We want to show that such a positive a exists. So r greater than zero. Okay. So notice that f of zero is negative 1. If you plug in x equals to 0 here, then f of 0 is negative 1. And f of 64 is equal to third root of 64 plus square root of 64 minus 1. The reason I chose 64 is because it's a number that has both a third root and a square root because it is sixth power of 2. So third root of 64 is 4 and square root of 64 is 8. So 4 plus 8 minus 1 that's 11. So we are almost done. We have showed that f of 0 is negative 1 and f of 64 is positive 11. Now we will be using the intermediate value theorem or sometimes known as IVT. So what does it say? It says that if f is a continuous function that is defined on the closed interval, de defined on the closed interval a and b, then f takes 
all values from f of a to f of b. So let me draw this. If you take a and b, two numbers, and you take the closed interval, so you take the closed interval, and suppose f of a is this number. So this height is f of a. So the coordinate of this particular point is a comma f of a and this height is f of a. And suppose f of b is something like this. So f of b is here. This is b comma f of b. So this height is f of b. The idea is the function has to climb from this to this height, from f of a height to f of b height. So all the values between f of a and f of b, so all the values between f of a and f of b will be assumed no matter how you draw the function. Because some for some value of x between a and b, every value from f of a to f of b will be assumed. That will the function will be realized. Function will get that get to that particular value. So this is the IVT, and as a corollary to that, corollary, you can talk about the Bolzano's theorem. So the Bolzano's theorem is really simple. That again f is continuous, continuous and defined on closed interval a b so you take a and b and suppose f of a is negative f of b is positive so f of a is here f of b is here this is f of b now Using IVT, we know if the function has to climb from this point to this point, like this, it will cut the x-axis at least once. You have to be very careful, it can cut the x-axis more than once, for example, if it sort of turns like this and then goes up. But it will cut the x-axis at least once. So, there is a psi between A and B. such that f of that is equal to zero. So there is a root of the function in between a and b. So we have already shown for our purpose, we have already shown that f of zero is equal to negative one and f of 64 is equal to positive 11. So we can use Bolzano's theorem here and say that there is a root of this function, this function f. There is some value of x in between 1, 0 and 64 that makes this 0. So there is some number between 0 and 64, let's call it b, such that f of b is equal to 0, which means cube root of b plus square root of b minus 1 equal to 0 or you can take this to the other side and you get the original equation back. So we proved it. So IVT and Bolzano's theorem are quite useful and um, it's important that you understand it very well. I'll see you in the next video. Keep on doing great mathematics.